Welcome to another video of the Healer Academy. So I, I want to take you more of what I've experienced, because I think a lot of the experiences that I've had, I haven't really shared with the community. And I think it's useful for you to know that there's other people out there experiencing the same thing as you. I remember when I was experiencing past life episodes and whoever I explained it to in the day to day life was basically saying I was crazy. They were trying to emotionally and empathetically empathize with me, but they didn't really manage because they couldn't even grasp the slightest bit of my experience. And this was a very lonely um, feeling until I found Matthias De Stefano. Uh, you can check him out on YouTube and he's sharing a lot about how he remembers all of his past lives. And when I saw him, I knew that I wasn't the only one and that I wasn't completely weird or completely strange and that there was a part of me that was also normal. So I hope that through these videos that I'm going to create for you today and the next couple of days that you realize that some of the things that you're experiencing are also normal. So let me first take you through what I experienced last night. I was lying in bed and suddenly I felt all the energy going through my feet. So the best way to describe it is as if my feet were filling itself with lead. They were completely heavy. I almost thought I didn't have feet at the moment, but I basically had like sticks of lead and I felt the energy magnetically just pull to the feet. I have been through these weird experiences before, so I wasn't really scared, but I was still double checking whether I was able to move my foot and I was able to do so, but naturally my foot and my body just wanted to rest. So I put my foot back in the normal position and then I felt this lead experience again. I don't know how long it lasted, maybe about 30 minutes or something, but I knew intuitively what I had to do, namely not to resist the process, but just allow it to happen. I knew that somehow energetically, a lot of energy wanted to go down through my feet and into that part of my energetic body. And I knew the more I resisted um, the process, the harder it would be. And this has been the case for a lot of stuff that happened to me in life. And with these experiences, slowly I have learned to surrender. I've learned to trust that there's something bigger happening than myself and that it is for myself, for the good of myself and other beings that I am going through this experience. So I was basically just lying there watching how my feet were turning into lead. And as the energy was dropping into my feet, I also felt an opening in the crown chakra. As we say in spirituality, a lot so above, so below. So we can only open as much above, as much our crown chakra, as much as our feet are grounded. So while I was creating more grounding or while more grounding was being created for me, I felt an opening of the crown. It kind of felt like almost they cut out the part of my crown chakra and, and it was just opening. And with that, the energy was more able to flow through my energetic body. So this is just part of the awakening process, as I call it, the process of realizing that we're more than just a physical being alone. And because there are so many elements of the awakening process, at least for me, that were very strange and very hard to accept and very scary, I decided to build a course called Awakening. You can check it out on healeracademy.com if you're running through similar symptoms. And maybe you also would like to share what you're experiencing in the awakening process to see whether other people can relate in the YouTube or here on Instagram. Mm, thanks so much for sharing. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to myself, and I'm sending you much love.